the smoke's a bit. Uh, how bad does it look, Patterson? Does it look bad? Does it look really bad? <laughs> Fortunately, my crash wasn't quite as bad as this, but it was a bit of a sore one. I've had a bit of an accident. Obviously that wardrobe went quite dramatically wrong. <laughs> um, so after my crash yesterday, it was really sore for about just 10, 15 seconds, just when I was basically on the ground. And then it didn't hurt after that. I stood up and, and I felt my shoulder. I was like, oh, <laughs> there was a big lump on top of my shoulder. And I actually th thought at a time that maybe my bone had broke. Oh, this is not right, it's lumpy. I think it's snapped. I think I've got a boat to break. And it was sticking right up. Uh, but then I could move my arm about uh, and I actually cycled home. Um, but I had to go up to the hospital. I'm getting checked out. It was a bit, quite a sore one. We'll see what happens. <laughs> And it turns out I've got an uh, AC joint uh, separation, which means that it's, um, AC means a chromioclavicular separation. So basically it's your collarbone separated off from the joint. It's, it's attached to your shoulder blade with, by ligaments. And there's a big ligament, apparently it's on the top, and then there's two other ligaments that adjoin it from underneath. And uh, there's different grades of separations going from one being the least damaged to the six being really badly damaged probably means that your collarbone's broken as well uh, and I've got type 3 separation so it's quite a substantial separation so the nurse basically you know, I had an x-ray and she looked at it and she said and she showed me the x-ray and said it's quite a big separation and so I've been referred to the fracture clinic so I'm going to get an appointment to go and see them. Um, she said if it had been sm smaller, uh, she would have just put me in the uh, sling and then I would have just been told to rest it for a couple of weeks. But because it's quite a big separation, um, she thinks it's a type 3. I need to go to the flat fracture clinic. Maybe we're going to get a phone call today to make an appointment. So it doesn't look like I'm going to be in the bike for quite a while, which is annoying. But it is an action sport, I suppose, and these kind of things happen. Hi there. Well, it's basically two weeks to the day since my crash, and I had an appointment yesterday at the hospital, to, at the fracture clinic. Ah, Mr. Mongoose, please make yourself comfortable. Take off your necessaries. I shall be out in just a moment. I'm just calibrating the machine. Mr. Mongoose, why are you naked? <laughs> what do you mean? You told me to take off my necessaries. I'm only examining your shoulder, young man. Well, this is embarrassing. <laughs> Hold still now, Mr. Mongoose. Well, Mr. Mongoose, the results are in. I've got some good news and some bad news. What's the bad news? You have a grade 3 AC separation, which basically means your collarbone is separated from your shoulder. What's the good news? Technically, you're brain dead but somehow, you're still walking about. And the doctor said that um, it was a type 3 separation that I've got of my AC joint. And that he, he just basically made me do um, some mobility tests. So I had to do things like put my hands above my head, put my arms behind my back, obviously using this one. <laughs> and uh, outstretched and do all these things just to see what my mobility was. On the plus side, it says my mobility is actually pretty good. He thinks it will heal itself, so I don't need to have an operation, so that's really good. Um, he says really, they'd only consider operations for grade four and above. Um, he says if the collarbone moves backwards or uh, stuff like that, then they'd consider uh, doing an operation to pin it back but uh, it should just heal 
obviously heal in a totally different position, so it's a lot higher up. It should all heal back together. Um, so I should have, almost, hopefully, almost full mobility again. I've got to keep the sling on day and night for another two weeks. And then probably maybe not be able to drive for a wee bit longer than that. So it's really quite frustrating. <laughs> so I'm having to get lifts to and from my work uh, from my fantastic parents and my wife. There's some funny things have happened though. <laughs> um, I was just thinking, when I went to the hospital last time, initially after the crash, went into the, the room and the nurse was examining me and my wife was with me. She cleaned me up, you know, because I had some grazes and stuff like that, because obviously I had the crash. And then she said, well, can you put your arm, you know, she was asking me how could I move my arms and could put my hands and my head, so I did it. And when I was doing it, this, the bone was like pushing up to the, pushing right up against the skin, wiggling about. And my wife went, oh, and I think it's so did the nurse. And she's a health professional. <laughs> I can understand my wife being a bit freaked out by my bone going, but the nurse, uh, surely she's seen more horrible things than that, but I suppose it is something that's not natural. It doesn't look natural where your bones are really about underneath your skin, but that, that made me laugh. <laughs> and uh, at work, so obviously being at work with this um, sling on them, basically anybody and everybody, not just colleagues, uh, members of the public who come into work, are going, oh, what happened to you? And you're sort of telling them, and they're going, oh, is it sore? And you're going, no, not really. And they're going, oh. They're really disappointed. <laughs> I think they want you to be going, oh, it's absolute agony. But it's yeah, quite funny people's reactions to injuries. Everybody's so nosy. You just want to know exactly what happened, but nah, I don't mind. <laughs> so I've got another, um, at least another couple of weeks of wearing it constantly. And then getting a, a physio appointment. It's, to be honest, I'm in no pain. There's only certain certain angles, or if I make sort of quick sharp movements, I can feel the sort of bone pushing against my skin. It's a bit uncomfortable, but it's not actually, I wouldn't say it's sore, and like just now, it just feels like normal. So I think I've been very lucky, because obviously, like I do, I watch YouTube to learn things, so, Anything like to do with mountain biking, I look at YouTube. If it's DIY things, I look at YouTube. And so obviously I've had this, I've been looking at YouTube about it. And some people seem to have been in a lot of agony and pain with it. So I think I've been very lucky that it's not sore. So I'm quite pleased about that. Could have been a lot worse. But I can't wait to get out of my bike. It's so frustrating. Hello. Do you notice something different about me? My arm's out of a sling. Oh, what a relief. <laughs> had my physio appointment today and uh, it went really well. I had to do a few tests, um, move my arms about, up to the sides, uh, had to lean against a wall, sort of push off it using my weight. Um, and she checked the sort of symmetry of my shoulders. And she said my, that my collarbone wasn't protruding too much, so said it looked good and she said I was actually I had really good mobility it was almost normal she asked me to do one test she said it's pretty tricky and that is um, I'll just let's, let's calm down I'll show you what she asked me to do so she said you, you put your arm across like this she said it's pretty difficult to do with this type of injury to begin with anyway so I did it and it's not sore, it only gets a wee bit tight when it gets to about this part of the motion. And uh, so she says it's really good that I can do it at all. So really chuffed about that. But the really good thing is, <coughs> um, I asked her about when I'd be able to drive again. And she said, as long as I can hold onto the steering wheel and, and turn it, and also do a mock um, emergency stop. So holding on to the steering wheel as tight as I can and push as hard and fast as I can um, and if it doesn't hurt to do that then I'm fine. So I did that and I wasn't sore so it was great. Such a relief that I'm not having to rely on um, other people 
and my fantastic parents and my wife who have been giving me lifts um, to and from work so it's really good. I'm desperate to get my bike but I know at the moment I just I'm not I'm not ready for that. I know that my shoulder couldn't take that just now because it's uh, it's just it's hard to describe it feel is definitely weaker um, but it's hard to describe how it feels if it, my hands feel if you no one can describe it I feel like this hand's a lot further away than this one I feel like a Mr Tickle you know I could put my hands around the corner of the room and tickle something or something it just feels a lot further away than this hand and the pressure on it's different it's just odd I'm hoping that obviously in time that will just come back to normal but yeah a bit relieved that I uh, don't have to wear this thing all the time I've only to wear it I've so weaned myself off it she said um, wear it if my arm feels sore or heavy um, so that's what I'm going to do basically just follow the advice to fool and yeah, she said I'm really quite far on with my recovery considering how big a separation it was. So I'm really chuffed about that. Hopefully, in another couple of weeks or so, I might be able to get back on my bike again. I've got another physio appointment in another few weeks just to see how I've been getting on. So that's that really. I have to wait in there. See, hopefully I'll be out quite soon. So part of my physiotherapy exercises is, is to use this like, stretch band. And I've just got to do this, just to try and um, strengthen my arm and my shoulder. So, just straight forward. I've got to do this ten times. <coughs> and then I've got to do the same thing, but just at a higher angle, just to work different parts of your arm I think and shoulder. Oh came off. <laughs> and another one is basically to hold on to the work top like so. Just move back a wee bit and then just push down or bend down. Stretch your arm out and hold it. So one of my exercises as well is to basically just lean against a wall and push out using my body weight to push away. And that's to again build up strength in the shoulder. So hands at width, shoulder apart, step back slightly, just lean in. So that's quite like just doing like a press up, but not obviously as much weight on your shoulder. Well, I've really returned to the scene of the disaster. The wall. The wall drop. It doesn't look like much of a drop, but um, it is actually relatively high as usual. GoPro doesn't really show you the scale of things very well. So it's probably about, I don't know, three foot where, where I tried to come off of. But because it slopes away, it's more than that. Uh, so it was quite a big impact um, dropping all that way. And I ran, landed right in the point of my shoulder. So I have an AC injury, my collarbone's basically separated. Uh, so I thought I'd return to the scene of the crime. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a video going through the actual run up and how the crash actually happened because I basically made so many mistakes in that crash that um, hopefully other people can learn from it. 
because I basically did everything wrong and uh, obviously ended up with a serious injury but maybe one day I'll be able to conquer it maybe one day but I don't think I'll be trying it for some time <laughs> I hope you can learn from my mistakes and uh, basically stay safe uh, wear adequate protective clothing and um, don't run before you can walk basically try to progress in a more sensible manner than just flinging yourself off stuff that you're not ready for it's probably actually good advice I mean you obviously have to push yourself a wee bit if you want to progress but sometimes just know your level <laughs> and uh, obviously this is a bit beyond me at the moment so thanks for watching if you like the channel please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Tati bye.